Ella Phillips, I see Lynn Presley. Hey, Jane, the librarian. Hi, Jane, how are you? Hey, good to see you, doing great. All right, thank you. Hi, Joanne, hi, Lila. Who else is out there? This is Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> My, what's happening with my body? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jose, I'm, ready, I'm ready when you are. If you want to wait a minute, we can wait a minute. If you want to start, we'll start. Um, well, just I, I, I'd like to say a few words. I, I want to thank you again for um, presenting this uh, program to the community. Um, um, February is such an important month for African Americans, and uh, and um, you know I'm again thankful for your service, and I leave it up to you, uh, Mr. Musa. You can take over and uh, begin the presentation. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jose. Thanks for your work working with me this month. I know it's not always easy. Right? No. <laughs> so thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming. My name is Mansa Musa. I'm an artist and an arts educator. I've been making art all of my life and teaching art for the past 41 years. Um, I've been teaching at the West Orange Public Library for probably about 15 years. And I love the West Orange Public Library. Um, I am a kid from Newark who moved to West Orange and I became a West Orange artist. And that's one of the greatest accomplishments of my life that I became a West Orange artist. So thanks for coming, Jane, Lila and Jordan, jo Joanne, Alta, Gar Alta Garcia. Spell say your name, Alta Garcia, pronounce your name for me. Alta Gracia. Alta Gracia, wow, what a- They call me Dottie. A Dottie. Yeah, <laughs> okay. a lot better. organize this class in honor of Black History Month, um, which is February. And it's important to me because over the years, I've done all kinds of things as a dancer, as an exhibitor, as a performer. I curated an exhibit at the West Orange Public Library now called Portraits, Paintings, Photographs, and Prints. If you get a chance to see it, please go and see it. All right. So here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to talk for about five minutes, and then we're going to do the work. The way I work is my desktop is connected to my laptop. I'm going to show you my hands and you're going to see my hands while we're doing the project. Okay, so you're going to work along with me. All right. In the background, I'm going to have Dr. King's feature going and we'll play a little music and we'll have a good time. All right. <laughs> so first of all, who was Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King? I'm going to read a little bit about him. Martin Luther King. King Jr. was a Baptist civil rights activist who had a seismic impact on race relations in the United States beginning in the mid-1950s. Among his many efforts, King headed the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, CSCLC. Through his activism and inspirational speeches, he played a pivotal role in ending the legal segregation of African-American citizens in the United States, as well as the creation of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. King won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, among several other honors. He continues to be remembered as one of the most influential and inspirational African-American leaders in history. All right, Dr. King was born on January the 15th, 1929, and he was assassinated on April the 4th, 1968 at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee. All right, so now we're gonna do the work. I'm gonna show you some samples with my iPad of why I came up with this project, Healing Hands Collage. I'm an artist. When I type, when I play music, when I paint, when I take pictures, I'm using my hands. When people see the work that I create, I'm healing them. I'm making them feel better. I'm making their lives feel better. And that's what artists do with our hands. We heal people. So let me show you, hey, Lynn Presley, let me show you a couple of hey. that inspired me to do these healing hand collages. I'm gonna share my screen 
And then after this, we're going to go to work. I'm tired of talking. We're here to work. We're going to work for about an hour, and I'll stay for a little while longer, and we can do some work today. Okay? Don't worry about finishing or not finishing. Sometimes you're creating artwork, and it doesn't get finished. Don't worry about finishing today. What I want you to do is to make a great start. If you finish, that's okay. All right? So let's go to my iPad. And number one, I also want to say um, I'm glad everybody is safe and well in these times. Um, no times like these, but um, I'm glad you're safe and well, and I'm glad you are here. All right, I'm trying to find my album, which I already had. Oh, here it is. Had, had it queued up. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. So this is my idea. This is my healing hand. Okay. This is what I do. I imagine, I dream, I think, I listen, and I teach. All right? I did, Look at that. I did probably, I don't okay. know, five years ago, I was just sitting at a window. I had these stones and I put them in my phone. Hey, this is the collage that inspired my Dr. King healing hand collage. This is a young mm -hmm. woman, bottom right hand side from. Brooklyn, New York, and I was teaching a class, a Healing Hands collage class. She's one of the very few students who ever did something other than her hand wide open, and then her hand is presenting Dr. Martin Luther King. This is one of the best I've ever seen. And this is one of my favorites, okay? Here's the concept that we're gonna to use today. We're gonna to take a self-portrait of your hand and then we're going to surround it with civil rights figures and figures from American his African American history. All right. We're going to start out with this board. Okay. This is your substrate. We're doing a collage workshop. Mm -hmm. So in collage, you have a substrate. Yours is a 10 by 16 piece of chipboard. It's 10 by 16 inches because after you finish this, you can yeah. take the staples and make a copy and send one to your friends. All right. That's the whole one of the premises of this. You're making a piece of art that's 10 inches by 16 inches that can be copied at Staples at 11 by 17 on a piece of paper so you can make a million copies and show them to your friends, all right? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cover the substrate with paper, all right? I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to take another piece of paper that's the opposite of your background, you and we're going to turn it over. You're going to trace your hand. You're going to cut it out. All right? So that's what we're going to do. It's real simple. Can I bring the scissors? Mm -hmm. All right? So now, let's start. I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to show you my setup. And you, we're going to do this together. If you have questions, just say, Monza, I have a question, and I'll answer your question. If you don't want to unmute, go to the chat box. And I'll answer your question. All right. So now, in your packet of supplies, you got two pieces of paper. They're ten inches by eight inches. That's your background. All right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn mine over, and I'm going to take my glue stick. And here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to apply glue to the substrate, to the background. I like to use Yuhu glue. All right. Yuhu glue is non-toxic. Smells good too. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to start at the top left. And I'm going to go down the left-hand side. Amen. I'm going to go across the top and down okay. the right and across the bottom. Somebody is um, talking. Uh, if you can mute, that will help me out. And if you need to talk to me, just unmute and say, Monza, I need help. OK? I'm going to make a border. I'm starting here, left. Top, right, bottom. Now in X, I'm going from the top left to the bottom right. And then I'm going from the top right to the bottom left. All right, I'm making a cross. Then I'm going to make an X. Right in the middle of the board, I'm going top to bottom. And then I'm going left to right. So now you basically have a star. And then I want you to take your glue stick and I want you to fill in those pieces of the star that don't have glue. 
I'm going to do this and then I'm going to turn on some music. And then around the midpoint, I'm going to turn on one of Dr. King's speeches. But let's get started first. Collage comes from the French word colère, which means to glue. And that's what you do when you make collages. You use some type of glue. You who glue for paper. And I think in your packages, I gave you some glue. I see Imani's here. Doesn't stink. So now you're going to take one piece of paper and you're going to put it on the left. And here's the easiest way to get this down. Just take your hands and put your hands in the middle and just press the paper down. Okay. So now I'm going to take another piece of paper. Remember, there are two pieces of paper in your envelope that are 8 by 10 inches. They will fit this board so that you created a background with two pieces of paper. Voila. Okay? So this is my style of collage. I create a background first, and then everything goes on top. When you make collage, you're creating layers. So you've got one down, then you're going to put a piece of paper on top, and a piece of paper on top, and a piece of paper on top. All right? I'm going to wait a minute, make sure everybody has this part. All right? Piece on the left, piece on the right. Here's the other side of mine that I did in advance. Okay? I'm going to make sure everybody's at this point, and then I'm going to go on. So let's go to the next part, the actual healing hand. And this is your hand. Um, if you have someone else with you, I know somebody had two children. You can use your children's hands and you can use your children's hands too. So here's what I do to make this healing hand. I take a piece of paper like this. I turn it over. And I put my hand in the middle like this. I have to get it. And then I'm going to draw my hand. And I'm going to draw my hand using a marker so that you can see it easily. So my hand is here. And I'm going to put it in the corner. And when I say my hand, I mean my hand and my wrist. So don't draw your hand and cut it off here. Draw your hand and your wrist. Your hand doesn't have to look like this. You can do this. You can do this. Or you can do it with my student from from Brooklyn did, she did a peace sign. I still don't know how that girl did this. She traced her hand like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do mine the easy way. I'm sorry. I'm going to go like this. All right. So I'm going to trace okay. my hand. Daddy, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to trace my hand and I'm going to go slowly. That's the deal with drawing. Just take your time and go slowly. After this, we're going to take those little pieces of paper out of that envelope, that small envelope that I gave you, and it's got a little treasure trove of goodies in there. I'm going to use those to make a fabulous, fascinating collage inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So there's my hand. Usually your hand that you trace is going to be bigger than your real hand. So you can cut it down a little bit if you want to, you know, you decide. All right. Next thing I'm going to use is my scissors. And I'm going to cut out my hand. There we go. Let's get some, some kind of music going. I can't work without music. Let's get a little something going. So I'm going to cut out, cut out my hand. And the key to cutting is taking your time. Okay. After I do this, I'm going to unshare my screen and check to make sure everybody's doing okay. Okay.
Now I want you to hold on to this extra paper you have because you can also use this in your collage. One thing, get rid of the extra paper. Sometimes just cutting that extra paper off will help you cut a little bit easier. I want to thank you all for coming out today. I'm glad you came out today. I'm going to cut that extra piece of paper off. I'm cutting that extra piece of paper. And I've been a collagist most of my life. I love to cut things up. And there we go. And I start mm -hmm. to <laughs> when my family would get Life magazine in the mail, and my siblings would let me look at it first because they knew I needed to see the pictures. Because I knew one day I was going to travel around the world. After everybody in my family saw it, they would give it to me because they knew I was going to cut it up and make something interesting. So there's your hand. Here's your healing hand. And here are two. You want to do two. Aha! You can do two if you want to do two. <laughs> but I, have, I have one. And then in my technique of teaching, I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to give you ideas, but feel free to break the rules. Okay? Hi, Imani. How are you? Marley and John, glad you're here. Who else is here with us? Okay. All right, everybody. So I'm going to give you a minute to finish cutting your hand. Dottie, I see you have yours. Here's mine. And my technique of collage is I sort of make a puzzle. And then once I make the puzzle, then I start to glue it together. I don't just take this and glue it down and put it down. I put the pieces together like a puzzle. And once I see the puzzle, I take a picture of it with my phone. And then I take the pieces off, and then I put them back together. I okay. use my phone as a reference. All right? All right. So, Imani, you okay? Okay, I'm going to go back to the share again. And what I want you to do now is I want you to take your small envelope, and I want you to take those pieces out of that envelope because you got a bunch of little things in there. I think I, I put them, put them in the nice All right. Let's see what's mine. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm going back to my share. I'm going back to my, to my hand, my live screen. Okay? So, first of all, I found some pictures. I found these in Michael. Normally, I work with you and you're in the room, I would bring my digital camera and I would bring a digital printer and I would take a picture of you. You would cut out your picture and put yourself into your collage. All right, we can't do that now. So I brought some photographs up for you. Another thing you have in your envelope, you've got a collection of stamps. All right. And they feature figures from African American history. Okay, what else is in here? You have some cowrie shells. Cowrie shells are power images from African American and African culture. All right, they're shells. They are particularly for me an object that I use. These are shells. I drew these and then I cut them out. I copied them and I'm gonna cut them out. I have words of empowerment, hope, love, wish. They're in your envelope. Since we're using stamps, I have a couple stamps for you. You can cut these figures out and put them inside of the stand. Let me see what else is in here. I have, I have some flowers. You want to get your flowers while you're alive. And these are things that I punch out. I have some circles that represent the sun to me. There are 10 of these in your envelope. And there are a bunch of small circles. All right. I'm going to look at what else is in here. Oh, some stars. If you're a star, you're going to need this star today. And then I also have two hearts. I love the fact that you're here. And then what else? I have squares. All right. So now, here's what you do. You're going to take these things, and you're going to start to cut them out 
and then you're going to start to move them around the board. For instance, I'm going to go to my hand. The first thing I'm going to put in my hand is I'm going to put a heart in my hand. And then I'm going to take the sun. I'm going to put the sun in my hand. And then I'm going to take a circle, and I'm going to put a circle in my hand. All right, so I'm making layers. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. I'm going to take figures from African-American history. These are real postage stamps. I'm going to take these stamps and I'm going to cut uh, them yeah, out. Yeah. And I'm going to start to figure where I want to go. I'm going to put Malcolm X right here between my thumb and forefinger. All right, let's see what else. I'm going to use the word hope. This is something we need right now, especially in this world and this country. So I'm finding things that I want to use, and I'm cutting them out. Once I cut them out, I'm going to start to make my puzzle. You can use these things in all kinds of places. Let's see what I'm going to do with these. Number one, instead of putting this sun in my hand, I'm going to take hope. I'm going to put hope in my hand. I'm going to leave the heart, and I'm going to put hope here. I'm going to take one of these circles, and I'm going to use it as a watch. So I can make sure I'm on time. Okay. I'm going to take this figure. I'm going to cut these figures out. They represent my parents. <laughs> Even though they're not my parents, they represent my parents. My parents uh, came from South Carolina after the Second World War. They lived in Harlem and then moved to Patterson and then to Newark. I'm going to cut this figure, these two figures out. And I'm going to pretend they're my parents. Just up from South Carolina. These figures are sitting, so I'm going to find something for them to sit on. Now, when you're making art, a lot of times you're going to do what I do, make a mess, move the mess to the side. If you're right-handed, move the stuff that you don't need to your right-hand side and keep your board clear so you can have a clear vision board. Let's see, what am I going to do with these parents? I'm going to take these parents and I'm going to sit them right here. And I'm going to take two of these squares that I have and I'm going to put them behind the parents and make it seem as if they're sitting on chairs. Another thing that I love to do, I love to take these circles that I call suns and I put them behind people's heads. And they're sort of like, um, I don't know what you would call it. They're like angels. Now somebody tell me, did you get long strips? Did I send you some long strips like this? Yes, you did. Oh, you know what? I want you to take these, I want you to create a border. Watch, watch what I do with this. I'm gonna take this long strip. I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna make what I call water. I'm gonna cut it in half like this. And I love to make borders. I'm a photographer, so I think everything should be in the frame. Ha ha, that's not true. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them here like this and I'm gonna make a border. So you can take these long strips and make a border at the top and at the bottom. Remember, I want you to Create your puzzle. When you get everything where you want it, take a picture with your phone, then take everything off, and you'll know where, it's, where it goes because you'll use your phone as a reference, all right? Okay, looks good. <laughs> African American history figures, and I'm going to put them down the side right here. So I'm going to put them one, two, three, four. I'll leave El Hajj Malik Shabazz there. But I take the other four and I'm going to put them down the right hand side. And that's just a design technique. And I'm doing this so that your eyes will be drawn to these figures.
Remember, I'm just giving you information and instruction. And you're going to give yourself the inspiration to make just a great piece of art. Wow, this looks good so far. It looks good so far. I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to create a border on the bottom. I'm going to move the stuff out of the way that I don't need. Put another border on the bottom. I'm going to create water. See the end? I'm going to cover my wrist with the water like that. I'm going to move my parents up a little bit higher. And another thing you can do when you finish this collage, if you have a picture of your family and you want to use that picture of your family in here, you can do that too. All right, here's what I got going so far. take my parents and I'm going to sit them on this box. I'm going to have them right down at the bottom. You've got a lot of paper in there. Use that paper to, to, to do what you got to do. Ooh, that looks good so far. I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to show you what I have so far, all right? I'm going to do one other thing. In this water, I'm going to put some circles. You have 10 little circles. And those 10 little circles can be used to create layers, put things on top of things. Okay, that's good so far. Here. I'm going to, before I do this, I'm going to put love. I'm going to, I like I like that word. I'm going to put love. In love right here. Hmm. Whew. Let's get rid of these stars. Let's get rid of stuff we don't need. Wow, that's what I have so far. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to show it to you. say, Mansa, I need help, and I will help you out. Wow, there it is. I'm going to take a picture. Take the picture, and I'm going to edit it. So you can see what I have so far.
Okay, look at your screen. That's what I have so far. Whew. All right, I'm going to unshare and make sure everybody's okay. That's what I have my hand to the left, a heart in my hand with hope. I've got a watch on. I've got El Haj Malik Shabazz there. I have the warmth of many suns in the top of the sky. I have my parents and love. And then I have a series of black history figures on the right hand side. Okay. How's everybody doing? Somebody, somebody unmute and say, I'm doing great. Oh, this is wonderful. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> it's <laughs> terrific. <laughs> hey, doing great, Mantra. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Fine, Barbara, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Glad you're here. Yes, nice to see you. You doing okay? I'm doing okay, thanks. All yes. right. I'm going to go back to my live view, and I'm going to keep I'm going to keep designing, and I'm going to share while I'm designing. Next, I'm going to use my my little cowrie shells, and let's see where I can put those things. I gave you some things in fours or fives. A four you can use to create balance. You can put one in each corner, and that will create balance. So I'm going to do that with these cowrie shells. I'm going to put one in each corner and show you how to just automatically just create balance with a, a couple of items. Let's go back to my camera. I can go here. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to cut out these four. I have six calorie shells, and I'm going to cut out four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put one in one corner. And I'm going to put these cowrie shells so the small end is pointing in. So the energy is going into the art. No, I'm gonna do something else. I just got another idea. I'll put my carry shells in those four corners. I also want to put this word wish in there. I'm gonna put wish in here too. Because you're putting paper on top of paper. Going to create some fingernails for me. So I'm going to just take this paper. I'm going to cut a little curve like this. I'm going to put some fingernails on my hand. Let's 
feel my hands a little, a little energy. What else I think I'm going to do? I'm going to put a border on the left and the right, too. I'm going to put a border on all four sides. That's what I think is going to look more dynamic. I'm going to do a border too. I'm going to do a border on these sides. See what I got. I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to do water again. Uh, okay. Yep, border on all four sides looks good. How am I going to do these? I don't want these to be, I'm going to stagger them. I'm going to stagger these figures instead of having them on one line. I'm going to sort of stagger them. Sojourner Truth right down here. I'm going to put the cowrie shell pointing at her. Now James Welton Johnson wrote the Negro National Anthem here. Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune here. Yeah. Um, so here. Monster? Yes. Hi, where did you get for the fingernails? The, the what? The white pieces for the fingernails. Oh, I just used a piece of paper. Just oh, paper. okay. I thought, okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. here's, here's what I did. I just took a piece of paper like this, right? And I just cut a little curve at the top like mm -hmm. that. Uh -huh. Made a fingernail. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is an interesting shape. Wow, this is coming out nice. You know what I got? I got another idea. These little circles that I have, I'm going to put these little circles right on the side, right here in the water. I'm going to put these little circles right here. Everywhere we we'll have a little water, I'm going to make another layer of paper. Put these little circles here. All right, everybody, it's 340. So I want you to keep working on your design for five more minutes, and then I want you to take a picture, and then we're going to get to gluing. Let me see. You know, I have another figure. I have another figure. I'm going to take this figure, too. I think I gave you more than one figure. I'm going to act like this is my grandfather. See, they're my parents. My grandfather, he's sitting over here in my hand. I'm going to cut this one out, too. My grandfather, my my father's father, John Terry, he owned big farms in South Carolina, in Hampton County. They said he was a mighty good man. So I used this guy to represent my grandfather. I'm going to sit him right in my hand.
going to sit my my grandfather. I'm going to sit him right here. I'm going to sit him here. She represents hope. Wow, look at that. I'm going to move these over a little bit. I think my puzzle's nearly complete. Behind my parents' heads, I'm going to put something darker. that you can see it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take this one out. I must have one that he says darker. <laughs> oh, here it is. Wow, look at that. Whew. I say that collage is the most democratic form of art. Some people say, I can't take pictures with a camera. Some people say, I can't draw. Some people say, I can't paint. But you can take some pieces of paper and glue them down to a substrate after you move them around and make them look like an interesting puzzle. That's something everybody can do. Whew. All right, here's mine. I'm going to take a picture again. And then I'm going to give you seven after seven minutes i want you to take a picture with your camera and then take this stuff off and start to glue and i'm going to show you simple gluing technique all right especially with um with glue sticks and then i came up with the idea of photographing your works I teach senior citizens and I teach them collage and the seniors would say, Mr. M, we can't remember how it looks after we take the paper off. I said, well, take out your camera and take a picture of it. That way, once you take the stuff off, you remember where it goes. They said, okay. I love to teach because I love to learn. Now what's gonna go here? Something's gotta go here. You know, I have some flowers. I'm gonna put some flowers right there. flowers right here. And I got some circles. I'm going to put some circles inside the flower. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use two flowers. Oh, wait. We're making this collage pretty quickly. I have collages. I have one collage that I worked on for eight years. <laughs> it was fabulous, but I worked on it for eight years. Oh, <laughs> God. I worked on it so long. When I first started take, working on it, I took pictures of it with Polaroid film. By the time I finished, Polaroid film was done. There was no more Polaroid film. <laughs> This looks this starting to look good. Oh my goodness. Was it a really large collage, the eight year one? Yes, it, it is I think the biggest collage. No, it wasn't the biggest collage I've ever done, but it was about uh four feet by five feet. Yeah, it was big. It it was big. It was big. Going to put one more thing on. All right, I'm done. All right, I'll give you five more minutes. I'm gonna take a picture of this. You know what? I didn't use I didn't use the stamp. What am I gonna do with this? Oh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the stamp and I'm gonna put it between my thumb and forefinger. I'm gonna put it underneath my thumb and then I'll put Malcolm X's picture. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm going to take a picture. Okay, I'm going to take a picture. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, that looks 
looks nice. Now, I'm going to edit it. Let's see how it looks. Teeny bit of editing. Okay, that's it. All right, everybody, look at the screen. There's mine. Technically, I'm done. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Beautiful job, Monza. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, so I'm going to give you couple minutes to keep going and then I'm going to show you the, the gluing technique and then while we're gluing I'll play one of the king species. All right it's um, 348 usually these classes are an hour but like I said I'll stay I'm going to stay longer so if you want to hang out you know you can hang out. Hmm, wow I like that job. So I have a border on all four sides, right? That bring it all together. My hand, I didn't put it in the middle. Most people put their hand in the middle as a central figure, but mine is coming from the left, all right? Um, I stacked on the right-hand side those figures from African-American history on the stamps, all right? Um, I use representational figures, my mother and my father and my grandfather. Um, Inside of the sky, I put the sun. So for me, this represents the sky, this represents water. So I put things in the water and in the sky. Um, I use words that were important to me, hope, wish, and love. Gosh. This, this work is fun. All right, you have three minutes to finish and then I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show you how to glue it together all right now one of the things you need when you glue it together is you need a white piece of paper just a piece of white scrap paper because I don't want you to glue on your work I want you to glue on the paper so that you don't get glue on your work and again the ultimate goal is to take this 10 by 16 collage and go to Staples and make a copy onto 11 by 17 paper and give it to somebody and see what this healing hand collage does to them. See if they take it out of your hand and say, wow, that's fabulous. Oh my goodness. It's gonna heal them when they see this art. And you know, that's what we need right now. We need a heal. All right, you have three minutes. One minute. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna stop to share, make sure everybody's okay. Nobody in the chat room, so that means everybody okay. Joanne, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm just busy. Oh, hey, that's what I want to hear. She's busy. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was blue in like 20 minutes ago. Violet, <laughs> uh -oh. Jordan, how you doing? I see you working. I'm enjoying myself. All right. <laughs> Barbara, how you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm right, trying to fit in everything. You, get, you fitting in everything? I'm trying to. All right. And remember, Barbara, you're making layers. You're putting a piece of paper on top of a paper. You're going to lose something when you do that. But that's, you know, art and collage. You, you're going to yes. give up something to make something. All right? So, Mazda, it's okay to put okay, who else? paper Mia, how you on doing? paper, right? Go ahead, Barbara. It's okay to put right, paper, paper on paper? paper? Okay. Oh, you All have right. to. That's a Make yeah. Mia, how you doing? Where can I put this hard? Okay. Yes, okay. I have a masterpiece. Marley, you doing okay? <laughs> yeah, me and my friend are almost done. All right. And Lynn, I don't even have to ask you. Lynn Presley is a fabulous artist. She's working. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you, Monsa, but I'm <laughs> I was in yeah. South Jersey, so I couldn't pick up the kit. So I'm just looking at what you're doing. But I'm definitely going to make one when, when I'm finished. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Yeah, I signed up on Monday or whatever day it was, but I had no chance to get to the library in time. Ouch. I wish they had told me I, I would have I would sent one in the mail to you or something. Yeah, I would have did something. Nice. Okay. And I love your well, background, by the way. I absolutely love that Powie Shell background. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jane, how you doing? Doing good. Just want to give a plug, too. You can also make a copy at the library if you don't want to go to Staples. There you go. You have 11 by, so you can make 11 by 17 prints at the library? Oh, good question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think we do. Oh, wow. oh, cool. I'm going to the library. <laughs> I'm going to the library. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm going to play um, Dr. King's speech, I Have a Dream, which is, which is his last speech. And um, while we're doing that, I'm going to show you how to glue. And it's very simple. You need a white piece of paper, a glue stick. The main thing is you want to keep the smooth. Is that, who is that, Lila? Lila, is that singing? Turn on the microphone so I can hear you singing. You're over there singing. <laughs> OK. All right, let's go ahead. let's see if we can hear this speech. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how to glue. And then while we're gluing, we'll hear the speech. All right, so I'm going back to my live view so you can see my camera. And you're going to see me take the things off. I already took a picture with my camera, so I know where everything is going. OK, so is that a live view? No, that's my hand. That's the photograph, right? So I know where everything is going. I'm going to take a picture with my camera, too. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Very simple. Let's go to live view. All right, so there's the image. I'm just going to take my cell phone. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go like that. Touch it and freeze it. I'm going to take a picture. Now I know where everything is at. I'm going to take another picture. So now I know where everything is going, right? Now that I know where everything is going, I'm going to take everything apart. And then, as I said, don't rush to finish. Take your time. And so here's what I'm going to do. Here's my live view, right? So the things that are to the right, I'm going to move them to the right. The things that are on the bottom, I'm going to move them to the bottom. The things that are at the top, I'm moving them to the top. So I know where everything is going. This side, I'm going to just leave this here. Now, I've got a white piece of paper like this. I'm going to take this. And I have a photogenic mind. So my memory tells me where stuff is at. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my hand. So I'm going to put my hand here. I'm going to glue it. And the thing about gluing is keep it smooth. You want to make sure you get the edges, but you basically want to keep it smooth. Um, sometimes I use a art instrument called the brayer. 
to press it down it's up for like a paint roller and it will press everything down flat but for our purposes today I'm just going to use my fingers I'm going to go to the center of the image and press out a lot of times when you do this you want to shift a little bit where your items are I know that goes there and I'm working on the left side and then I'm going to work on the right Sam goes here Al-Hajj Malik Shabazz goes in the middle Okay, I'm going to go to the middle of my hand. First, I had a heart. And you probably, with a collage this size, you're probably going to need two pieces of paper. Two pieces of white scrap paper so you don't get glue on your artwork. Then, grandfather goes in next. the shape of the heart that I'm going to put hope in the middle. I'm going to lift this and put it so that is connected to my grandfather. I'm going to lift my grandfather just a little bit so that it's going like that. Okay, so that's what you do. And then take your phone. Okay, say, okay, what's next? Okay, next I'm going to put my borders in. I want to put my borders in next. So I'm using this for reference. All right. I'm going to do my borders next. And then everything goes on top. After I put my borders in, everything just kind of falls into place. Okay. So let's hear Dr. King. I'm going to stop talking. And let's listen to this uh, visionary, visionary figure in American history. Go back. Something happened. Let's go back. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King.
to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the myth of the tale is not great. 100 years later, the, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the massacres of segregation and the change of discrimination. 100 years later, Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. One hundred years later, the Negro is still languish in the corners of American society, finds himself in exile in his own land. So we've come here today dramatize the shameful condition. In a sense, we've come to our nation's capital test a test. The architects of our republic want the magnificent words of the Declaration of Independence. They were signing a promissory Negro is granted his citizenship rights. 
Thank you. 
Will they be able to sit down together to the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. Mm. One day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, mm. be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. And I have a dream. My poor little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racism, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of insubmission and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, a little black boy and a black girl will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Mm -hmm. So that was August 28, 1963. Um, so here's my finished piece. Um, I'm going to stop the share. So uh, like I said, don't worry about not finishing. Just so glad you came today. Um, I don't know, for some reason, uh, Dr. King's life and legacy is important to me. I remember... Um, 1982, I was a college student at, all right, at Jersey City State College, and my classmate said, we want to go to Washington for 
Stevie Wonder's March on Peace. Stevie Wonder, the great singer and songwriter, was campaigning to get Dr. King's birthday created as a national holiday, January the 15th. And in 1982, he organized a march on Washington. And I was the president of the Black Freedom Society at Jersey City State College. And I got a mm. bus. And pretty soon, I had enough kids on that bus. And we went down to Washington. We started in the back of the line. And we walked to the front of the line so we could see Stevie Wonder right above us. <laughs> that day, that march for peace was a catalyst in Ronald Reagan declaring the next year Dr. King's birthday being a national holiday. So, um, you know, thanks for coming out, everybody. I hope you had a good time. I had a, I had a, I had a ball. <laughs> I had, we had a great time. Thank you. So now, can we do this? I want you to share your work. All right. Nice. Jose, you said you go first. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I, I, I wanted to. There you oh, go. Look at that. There, there's my artwork. Everybody's showing you. All right, Jose, come on. Hold it up. Let's see what you got. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. We have to hold on, sir. So. No, I'm yeah. sorry. Huh? I like it. I'll, I'm, I'm going to follow your instructions, oh, too. I'm going to. Um, we'll just hold it to Bring it to Staples. Wow, that's awesome, Jose. Um, thank you. Can we see yours? Wait a minute. You do it, right? Listen, you're trying to take the fuck out of the show out here. Come on, Jane, let's see. I'm going to pin Jane's. I'm going to pin Jane's screen. Oh, wow, look at that one. Nice. Hold it up, Jane. Hold it up so we can see it again. Ooh. Nice. I have, I have some more gluing to do, but yeah. I'll, I'll show you the finished okay. product. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, everybody. I'm going to ask you to take a picture and then email it to me. I'm going to send you my email at the end of the class. Dottie, you're up. Let's see what you got. I'm going to pin the screen so we can see everybody's, see everybody's work. Hold on. Let me remove this pin. Wow, Dottie, move back a little. Wow, she she made a flower in there. We can Look at see. That. <laughs> we, can, we cannot see. No. Wow, beautiful. There. No. Look at that. She made a cowrie shell bracelet. Can't see. How do I see it? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, see. Uh, I don't think you can see it on your screen. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Thank you, Dottie. I'm going down to Joanne. You ready, Joanne? I'm gonna replace the. And, um, myself and my daughter. Who, 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 this is Nola's. You, you made two of them? That's. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So that's, that's my daughter, Nola's. And then this is mine. Oh, look at that. I did it kind of the long way. <laughs> I like that. I like, I like it when people break the rules. <laughs> 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 No, not yet. Uh, when you call me, uh, that's just like um, they ask you. What? Oh, gosh. Thank you. Let's okay. see who's next. I'll hold it with my hand. Uh -huh. um, uh, um, uh, Lila me. and Julie, you ready? Let's see what you got. All right. I'm gonna add the pin. I'm going to replace this pin. Remove this pin. Woo! Look at that. Purple on purple. Yeah, Who are those three ladies? Who are those three ladies? Are those your aunties over there? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> um, what the ladies represent, Jordan? Me and my, and my two god sisters. Her and her sisters. That's her and her sisters. And this one is me and, I, and my son did this one. Yeah. Oh, goodness. How are y'all doing this stuff so fast? <laughs> it's the whole glue stick. <laughs> on, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Going back to the gallery. Who else? Barbara, you want to you wanna show us yours? Okay. Yeah, unmute. It's on mute. But we can see. I don't know what happened. Um, Barbara, um, turn on your video. On the bottom left, it says stop video. Um, turn on video, and you should be able turn to. Turn on video. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bottom left. There oh, you go. 
Okay. There we go. <laughs> That's great. Let's replace it. Oh, look, look at that. Langston Hughes. I'm yeah. Right there in the middle. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Reggie and I did this. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Move back a little bit. Move back just a little bit. Wow. Look at that. Love the colors, too. Fabulous. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Who's next? Who's who's left? Um, Molly and Zoe, you want to show us yours? This is her. I'm going to rep Oh wow! Look at that. Oh, a lot. Of How'd y'all get all those um, Black History stamps? I gave y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we had four packets. All of us, um, two of us, we each got two. She only made one, but she used a lot of stamps. Okay. This wow! Look at that one. Nice. And then this one has an envelope. And how y'all make three of them? Package and we have one big one. <laughs> oh, beautiful work, beautiful work. Thanks so much for coming. Wow. Thanks, Molly and Zoe. Let me see, did I miss anybody? Who's, who's left? Let's see if there's anybody left. Mia, Mia, can we see yours? Oh, boy, y'all made my day. Gosh. Oh, no, it's not ready. Okay, so listen, everybody, here's what I want you to do. You saw how I just took a picture of my artwork. I want you to take a picture of your artwork and I want you to send it to me, all right? And then I'm going to send them to the library. And um, I have to, number one, thank Jose and then thank Dave Cuby, who's a, the director of the West Orange Public Library, who is a friend and an artist. Um, he's had me curate shows there for the last three years. And um, I just, you know, I am a library person, okay? I spent eight years of my life working at, worked my way through college, working as a typist at the Newark Public Library. So I love libraries. I believe the library is a hub of intelligentsia in a community. If you want to find some smart people who want to learn, go to the library. <laughs> the library is one of my favorites. So thank you so much. I'm going to share my screen with you one more time, and I'm going to write down my email address. Take a picture of your work and send it to me. All right, I'm going to share my screen one more time. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Gosh. Okay, I'm going to live you, and I have to tell you, um, I'm an arts educator. Like I said, I've been teaching for 41 years. Uh, I teach for the Newark Museum and the Visual Arts Center of New Jersey. A lot of people. I've been struggling doing this, doing this virtual teaching, but I've learned to do it, you know, and you proved to me today that, hey, I thank you for coming. I'm gonna write my email address here, photo, monster, at gmail, dot com all right so you know take a picture with your phone or your ipad and um, send it to me i'd love to see your work and um, i always share the work um, my goal as an arts educator is to inform you to instruct you and to inspire you so i hope that you were inspired by the art by the art technique by the words of dr king today all right I'll leave the share on for a minute. You can write it down and snap a photograph. I believe in using the phone in collage to make collages, okay? You can cut and paste, create a puzzle, take a picture, and that picture is going to give you reference to what you need to do. Okay, everybody got it? Any questions? Yes, thank you. All right, thank you. Unmuted. Unmuted. Thank you, Mazda. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Right. Okay. Joanne, Molly, Zoe. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks again. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Take care, everybody. You too. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Thank you, sir. Oh, absolutely. 
The pleasure was all mine. Thank right. you. I'll talk to you soon. All right, then, Mansa. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.